Modi from India, who the world loves on all sides, from the brick side and the west side, inaugurated a Hindu temple on the site of a raised mosque in India. More than three decades after a mob of militant Hindu radicals raised the mosque to the ground in the Indian town of Ayudhya, the country's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated the new Hindu temple that is standing in its place. Many Hindus believe Ayudhya to be the birthplace of the popular deity Lord Ram, and the building of the temple, after over a century of disputes, has been heralded as Ram returning to his rightful place. India freeing itself from the chains of past religious occupation. Modi took a starring role spending 11 days observing special purification rituals to prepare for the ceremony. The consecration of the Ram Temple became a national event with 8,000 official guests, politicians, diplomats, Bollywood stars, holy figures and hundreds of thousands of pilgrims flocking there from across the country to show devotion to the new temple and Lord Ram. The town also underwent a $3 billion government-funded transformation and was covered in flowers, etc. and billboards of Ram and Modi. Interesting. Millions of Hindus worship Lord Ram with an intense belief that chanting his name in times of adversity will bring peace and prosperity, peace and stability, peace and security. Then sudden destruction will come upon them. But anyway... Most of those who practice Hinduism keep idols of Ram in their homes. Major Hindu festivals like Dussehra and Diwali are associated with mythological tales of Ram extolling the virtues of truth, sacrifice and ethical governance. Interesting. Billions of dollars spent on this. The world is moving at speed away from the truth and to the worshipping of idols made with hands, and they are so ready to accept darkness when it reveals itself fully to mankind. Pray for people's eyes to be opened, for their hearts to be softened, and for them to hear the message of the gospel preached. Even in India, many of our brothers and sisters are sharing the truth. Pray for fertile ground for those soil for the soil of their hearts and for those seeds to grow and take root, that they will see Jesus Christ as the way, the truth, and the life. Shalom.